the it was the actual environment rather than what my parents told me because they, if they had told me differently i still think that i would have become a vegan because it was the environment of being oppressed that made it rather than reaction to that oppression because what happens is when you're oppressed and you're growing up in that world the world seems a temporary thing so you see around people that you trust uh, that they are not happy with the system because it's not the right system. So you grow up with this, this sense that this system is not the right system. So it's up to you to either survive it or to change it, which is basically what vegans do. Vegans make realize, well, this system is not right. Let's go and change it one step at a time. I start to change it, my own behavior, but I hope other people will do the same. But it's easy to do that change when you already had them in your mind when you were growing in a situation that seemed hostile to you. That's why people that are oppressed in any shape or form, I think they're more easily going to become vegan and stay longer for vegan because they understand this notion that if the system is wrong, you can actually change the system. Well, if you live a very comfortable life where everything was right, you will be very scared of trying to shake the system. Uh, and that is, I think, one of the reasons why I kind of carry on and had this, uh, this vision of, 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 of animals being oppressed as I am because I, uh, by seeing or remembering my old feeling of oppression, I could sympathize quite easily with other creatures that were oppressed.